Welcome to Red Hawk Talk episode 5. I'm Dylan. I'm Cameron. And sorry we're late, guys, but I'm pretty sure the officers of Milton 911 can't explain in their parking wars. Off to you guys. So that pretty much sums it up. All right, so let's take it over to Andrew with Scootering in Chicago. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Thank you, Andrew, for that. I feel like I know how to ride a scooter now. Just like Ben Burgundy? But he can't ride a scooter. Well, he can't, but let's see. Dang. That is what not to do while riding a scooter. Most definitely. Now it's time to go to Songs in Real Life with Jaden, Maxwell, and Maddie. Hey Jade, what's wrong? I'm upset. My girlfriend and I just had got in a fight and she just broke up with me. That's rough. Hey Max. Hey guys. Max, how'd you get all the girls? Well, the difference between me and you is I got. Maddox, can you show me how to talk to girls? Sure. Come on, Bob. What else? <laughs> first thing, Jaden, is first impressions. Hello. Maddox, Maddox, guess what? What, Jaden? I found a girl. What does she look like? She got apple bottom jeans, boots with the fur. Nice. What's your idea for a first date? Baby, lock the door and turn the lights down low. That is an awful idea. I know. <sighs> What's the matter, bud? Girl, wanna go on my date. Well, I gotta go. Darkness, my old friend. Thank you for that, guys, with Songs in Real Life. Well, you know what keeps me up at night? What? Five things. Five things to keep you up at night with Miles. Hey! Red Hawk Media, Miles here. 
Do you sleep? We all sleep, which is strange, because we all have that in common. Our parents told us that we were all a special little snowflake, but that's just not the case. There's five things that really keep us up at night. I'm gonna tell them to you. Dogs. Have you ever been laying there in your bed, waiting to go to sleep, all of a sudden your furry little friend comes and pops up next to your leg and cuddles in, you're comfortable for a little bit, but then you want to lay on your side. You can't. Your dog has you trapped in one position until it either gets up or, God forbid, you move and wake it up. Death and existentialism. Yeah, this episode of Red Hawk Talk's gonna be a dark one. Now, if you probably know what one of those words means, it's gonna be existentialism. Kidding. Now, I didn't know what it meant before I made this video either, but basically it means, there we go. Thinking about what your parents are gonna find in your trunk. Yeah, that's gonna be bad. Now for the next one, it's kind of broad. Thinking about something funny. Now, you can really think about anything because everybody has their own sense of humor. For me, it's thinking that the United States government is spending $750,000 on a new soccer field for inmates at Guantanamo Bay. Now, before we get to the last one, I just want to go through some honorable mentions. First one, we have this guy running our country. A duck's quack doesn't echo. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? And now for number one. When she doesn't text you back. You know who you are. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, sorry that I haven't been able to get out the funny video like I'm usually able to. I was kind of on a tight schedule this week. Please remember to comment what's poppin' Jimbo in the comments. And as always, Back to you in the studio. Well, that was interesting. I don't think about that during the night, but yeah. Hey, well, whatever floats your boat, I guess. I guess so. Well, anyway, we're going to sign out, and we're going to leave you with Emma Martin, who has some of the behind the scenes to how we make this show happen. Enjoy. Stay tuned next time, San Diego. <laughs> Why do you say San Diego? We're not even talking. <laughs> We're not even talking about San Diego. It's just